Hello, my name's Craig Barton, and welcome to a video showing you how you can compare the performance of a particular class or a particular cohort of students on a quiz that you've assigned them on my website, diagnosticquestions.com. Now, be able to, to be able to do all of this, first you need to have registered, set up your school, set up your students, and assign them a quiz. So to learn how to do all of that and a lot more, simply click on learn and go to the how to videos section. So first, let's find a quiz that we want to compare. So I'm going to go to assignments, and this will show all the assignments that I've set all my classes um, over the course of the year. And I want to find ones that I've set my year 11 class. So let's filter that down. And I want to find one that I set them at the start of the year. So let's go for this one, year 11, WOWS quiz one. Now immediately we get a little insight into the performance of the classes, but let's go into depth. So I'm going to click on data, and this will filter it out for my class for all my students. Now, I immediately can see that question 9, 3, and 4 were causing problems. So, um, as we looked at in the previous video, I can uh, look at detail at my students' answers at those particular ones to, to learn their levels of understanding. But what I want to do in this video is look at how we can uh, filter even more. So, I'm going to click on Filter Data. And what I'm going to do is see if there's a gender difference in my class. So, I want my females, so they appear there versus my males. And let's have a look at that, apply the filter there. So in blue, I've got all my class. Um, in orange, I've got the females. And in green, I've got the males. Now, the reason I've done this is often you read about on the news that um, it pops up every now and again that girls are better at a particular aspect than maths than boys. Um, and it's always useful just to check, see if there is something going on there within your own individual classes. Uh, question six, there appears to be a little bit of something, but nothing too significant. Um, but interestingly, if you do watch some of the other videos in this series, particularly the uh, academic one uh, towards the end of the series, you will see that you can often spot quite a, an interesting and quite significant gender dispar uh, disparity within certain mathematical topics. So it's often worth doing for the 20 seconds it takes to do it. But let's clear all that because a more useful thing that you might want to do is to compare the performance of your class against another class. So um, I'm going to go for students in my class, and that's uh, both genders there, please. Um, and uh, yeah, don't worry about that. And then I'm going to compare that to students in Columns class and apply filter there. And hopefully they'll both appear there. So my class is in blue and Columns class is in orange. Now they're both top set, year 11 classes. But I can see that there is a bit of a difference here. Look at question two. Columns class is scoring 94%. Mine's only scoring 71%. And likewise on question nine, my class is scoring 83 and Columns class is scoring 58. So what I might do as a teacher there is read some of Columns students' explanations that they're giving for, for that particular question. And that may tell me straight away whether they've come up with a better way of explaining it that I can then use to the benefit of my students. So that's one thing I can do. And question nine was another one that was that was causing problems for my students, whereas some of the column students seem to have really nice ways of doing it. Some of them haven't given explanations, but those that have seem to have quite nice ways of explaining it. Um, so that's one thing I can do, just read column students' explanations straight away. Or what's more useful, and I've done this often myself, is I could say to Colin, this question nine, the one on vectors there, can I just ask you, how did you teach vectors? Did you use a particular nice way of doing it? Did you have any spe specific resources that you use for it? And it just promotes positive and focused discussion between members of staff. And we found as a department that comparing performances on, on homeworks, and when we set a, one of these, uh, a 10 question quiz every week to all of our classes, when you compare performance of parallel classes, it really does highlight differences, and it really does enable teachers then to get together and have a really focused and positive discussion. So I hope that is useful to you. And um, as I say, if you want to learn how to do anything more on the website, just go to the learn and um, the how to videos and you'll find all you need there. Take care and bye for now.